Now for the important stuff. The dirt bikes. The what, hunt? The dirt bikes. Who doesn't like dirt bikes, right? All right guys, so it's a Saturday here. The boys and I are just hanging out in the shop, kind of looking at a few of the projects that the guys were doing during the week. No one's here working today, so. This uh, this right here is our, I think it's a 2016 Peggy STS 14 sprayer. We just bought it in the fall. It came uh, out of Texas. So uh, yeah, the guys kind of make fun of me because I bought it on the internet and never looked at it. One of my favorite purchases, Gabe, came from Texas. I never looked at it. It nice. came out of the truck. One of many, Gabe. One of many. They make fun of me. I buy stuff How <laughs> most people buy cell phone cases on the internet. I buy machinery. That seems like the millennial thing to do, right? Yes. So anyway, it needed a couple things fixed. You can see right up in there, we had to pull the tank off, get some things welded. And then just some routine maintenance. It needs a good cleaning. But overall, pretty good machine. We're going to take these, swap these tires off soon, probably next week, and put on our floater tires to do spring burn down sprays. If you're not familiar with what a burn down is, it's just something that we do early on to kind of take care of the weeds and the some of our field, well, most of our fields have cover crops. So we use this to go and terminate the cover crop, which terminate cover crop is another word, fancy word for killing it. So anyway, there's that. Adam's been working on that, trying to make it look decent by polishing it up and stuff. So still a fair amount of work there. Over here, the old mighty tomato harvester. If you've watched any of our other videos, you've seen this thing run, but this thing does require a lot of maintenance. As you can see, there's just tons of rollers and bearings and there's supposed to be a chain in here which is down in right there but to access all this stuff it's better to take it all apart so Dan and Josh have been uh, working on this they don't work by themselves all the time every so often you need a Dan who doesn't have a face or a head what are you doing Dan Nice. So do you get hazard pay for this or is this just pretty much? Yeah. Uh, they all have hazard pay every day. What, what did you break on this part? Everything. I, Replacing these blades. Nice. Had to do several things to it, but that's normal. Every year it needs quite a bit. So you can kind of see in here some of the chains are missing. Um, but yeah. Overall, pretty decent shape and should be out of here some point next week. If you watched the last video, you kind of saw us messing with snow plowing and in the heart of that. Well, we, we had like 35 inches of snow in the month of February. So our February was super busy taking care of our commercial customers. Snow be gone. So we didn't have a lot of time um, to do a whole lot. This right here is an irrigation motor, right, right where you kind of see all the bolts and parts there. There's a pump that, uh, well, there's part of it right there. That primes a horizontal well, and it, the bearings all went out of it, so we're rebuilding it. You can kind of see there's the pieces of it right there. So yeah, we're waiting on some parts for that. We got that project going, and then Scooter Man, woohoo! Then over here, this is our uh, nitro that we use to just spray tomatoes exclusively. Um, so yeah, it had several little nagging injuries and stuff to take care of. So Chase has been working on that. Welcome back here at the Radiator Core Alpha. Okay. Uh, and you have to do this every year? No. <laughs> Okay. There's the radiator. Hi Hunter! Yeah, as you can see there, he put a new alternator on it. It's got some oil leaks that are getting dealt with and some new water pumps getting put in it and some other things. So hopefully by next week, this will kind of be buttoned up and, and out of here. Another project we got going on this spring, um, using these 
concrete bridges to allow one of our irrigators to cross a ditch. We actually have two irrigators this year we need to cross ditches with. So these are just two of uh, four more loads that we have to get yet. Actually two of five total loads, so three more to go. We gotta get the frost laws off so we can move these and get the excavators out there. And here's the newest addition that we just bought last week. It's a 40 foot Demco trailer with two 3250 gallon tanks we're gonna use for fertilizer to, to plant with. Awesome feature right here. Allows us to just step right up here on the deck, access our things safely. Cause we're not, we're not young anymore. Upper thirties. Yeah, we have to plumb this up yet. As you can see the outlet of the tank there and then the outlet of the other tank there. So we'll get those two tied together with a pump and then we'll have a, a water shuttle on here to mix our insecticide for planting. All right, this takes us to the next project. We have some big transformers there, a whole bunch of wire. Uh, this is all primary wire. It's going to go from the road. You can kind of see in the distance and the transformer will sit right where that little excavator is at and it'll power this pivot here. We have a water well right around the corner. We used to do it all with diesel. So I guess you could say we're going green and then it'll go two thirds of a mile back and power a 13 tower system with a corner arm three wells, two 12 inch, one eight inch. As you can see, the snow is kind of making a mess here. So it's kind of hard for these guys to get rolling on this project and bury the wire. But hoping next week in the 60s that things calm down and we can get that done. But irrigation solutions, better check those guys out. They're awesome. They do all our irrigation work and uh, they're really they're really great. So yeah, as you can see, a bunch of, bunch of projects going on here. Lot to do. There's four irrigation systems being built. So that's gonna take some time and lots of other just new projects to get done. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our channel. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button, tell your friends and give us two thumbs up. Woo! Peace out. Well, me and my dad planted that field. What, buddy? Well, me and my dad planted that field. We did. Didn't we? You gonna do that again with me?